gonna start a review of the Hetty Fair. So this is how it will sound if you wanna take it for a Kiago here, welcome back or welcome. And if it's the last one, please let me tell you, we do tech reviews and unboxings of cool tech like this one today. Does something interest you? Please consider subscribing, give a thumbs up in this video and share it all around with your friends. With this said, we're going to start the review of the Eddie Fair. Sorry, I need to check the name. W320TN or W320TN. I, I'm telling you guys, they need to put like better names in these things. So in this video, I'm going to tell you all about them. Specs, how they sound inside, outside, sound quality. And in the end, I'm going to tell you if they're worth the price. With this Said, let's start a review of Eddie Fair W220TN. Ooh, without looking. Starting with the price, the Eddie Fair W320TN has a price tag of £99.99 .99 in UK. And in US, the price tag is $99.99. Like always, I will leave links in the video description. Please check them up for best price and product information. Looking at the unboxing, you have a cool box, no different from other Eddie Fair products. Inside, you have the USB-A to USB-C cable for charging, the manuals, and the W320TN earbuds. On this grey color, you can get them also in white. They look really good and feel really premium in your hands. But with this color, you will get fingerprints everywhere in the case. Let's have a look at the W320TN more in detail next. At the front, you have one LED for battery indication. At the back, you have a button to reset your earbuds and to check the battery level and the Eddie Fair branding on the hinge. At the bottom, you have the USB-C port for charging. Looking at the earbuds next, they also have this grey color and look really good. These earbuds adopt an open fit design like the Apple EarPods. They have Eddie Fair written on the stem and on the ear tip you can see the infrared area. This is used to detect when they are in your ears. One unique aspect of these earbuds is the pressure-based touch controls at the side of the stem. It's good to prevent accidental touches. Looking at the battery next. Let me start by saying that battery is not the best feature. With the LDAC and ANC on, the battery life is around 1 hour and 30 minutes on a single charge. And this is really bad if you listen for long sessions. However, there is a positive side. If you switch to SPC codec and turn the ANC off, the battery improves a lot, offering 5 hours and 30 minutes on a single charge, with the case adding 22 hours of battery life. They have also fast charging, with 10 minutes giving you 1 hour of playback time. Let's see some of the specs next. They come with Bluetooth 5.3, with support for SPC and LDAC audio codecs. They have high-res audio, 13mm dynamic drivers, and adaptive ANC, more on that in a few moments. Wearing detection, dual device connection, and IP54 water rating. And lastly, they work with the Edifair Connect app. Talking about app is one of the best out there, providing new customization options, including touch control sensitivity adjustments. The app provides you various equalizer presets so that you can set up the sound for your preference. You can choose from pop, rock, and more. You can also turn the ANC on and off and choose to activate the gaming mode. A really good and complete app. Let's talk ANC. One of the standout features of the W220TN earbuds is the adaptive active noise cancellation. We need to keep in mind that the open fit design doesn't really complement the ANC very well because there is no passive noise cancellation. Testing the ANC on the W220TN with the airplane cabin noise, the earbuds did a much better job than expected at reducing the noise. Because the ANC on the W320TN is adaptive, I found that it takes a few seconds to kick in, but it does a surprisingly good job of reducing the most intrusive low-end frequency. The high-end frequencies are still there, but this is typical blocked out by the passive seal of the normal earbuds. Just before you talk about the sound quality, please be the judge on the next call quality test, indoors and outdoors. Right guys, so this is the sound of the Eddie Fair W320 
TN inside. So this is how it will sound if you want to take a phone call on a quiet ambience like this one. I'm inside of my studio, so no a lot of noise is going around. So we're going to go outside and do the same test outside. Right guys, so this is the sound of the Edifair W220 TN outside. It's no wind today, so yeah. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about the sound outside. We're going to go back inside and carry on the review. Sound quality. Again, the open fit design is not a positive factor in sound quality compared with the normal earbuds with the silicone ear tips. The seal that's created with the silicone ear tips improves the bass response. With this in mind, Edifair used the 13mm drivers to try to counter the open fit design. And the end result is a really good sound quality. Sound signature has a focus on the mids and provides you with a really good listening experience. The highs are not so sharp, vocals sound clearer without being overlay harsh, and even bass retains its power and depth, a very good sound quality for open ear earbuds. In terms of latency, Edifair W320TN performs really well for most use cases. When watching movies or TV shows on Netflix or YouTube, there is no lag at all. When playing games, there is a slight lag in some games. If you are looking for a pair of open fit earbuds, that are very similar to the Apple AirPods, but for a more affordable price, then the W220TN is one of the best choices available. The sound quality is excellent for this design, and they have also the best ANC for this type of earbuds. The only downsize is the battery life, but it's not far off the other options out there. And that's it guys, this was our review on Edifair W. 220 TN. If you found any value in this review, please give this video a thumbs up, share with your friends, and if you haven't subscribed, now is the time to subscribe. Like always, I will leave a link in the video description if you want to buy them. It doesn't hurt you, and it helps the channel. With this said, Tiago here, wishing you guys a lovely day with your friends and family, and I'll catch you in the next one.